Hello fellow pirate, within this video I'll go through everything you need to know about the Gold Hoarders Alliance. Stay tuned. Within Sea of Thieves, there are three trading companies that you need to level your way up through in order to obtain Pirate Legend. Their NPCs are located inside a small dark greenish kind of tent at every outpost. There are two outposts located in the Shores of Plenty, the Wilds and the Ancient Isles, as well as one singular outpost in the Devil's Roar. Presumably any new areas will also have their own outpost. According to the lore, they were started by one man who had a set of keys that could unlock any chest. He was incredibly greedy and upon his death, his keys were split amongst the others within his trading company. Now they unlock the treasure within. It is believed that their gold skin is a result of the curse or a disease caused by handling cursed treasure. Talking to each of the gold hoarder NPCs gives a different response. Some are already mad with greed while others talk about loaning money to other NPCs and profiting that way. The gold hoarders have two different mission types to offer you. The first being a riddle and the second being a treasure map. A riddle is where you're told exactly which island you need to go to in order to progress through the mission. Setting foot on the island will reveal the next Next step in the riddle. Each riddle has anywhere from one to four steps that you need to complete in order to obtain the treasure, which will only be one treasure. The missions require you to perform a different action at each step in order to unlock the next step at a particular place. These actions include playing a musical instrument, holding up your light or holding up the riddle itself. A treasure map is where you're provided a map that's marked with X's. You then got to figure out which island it is on the map, travel to the island and then locate the X's by shoveling them out of the ground. Please take a moment to vote in the question of the video appearing in the top right now. Which mission do you prefer, riddles or maps? Let me know in the comments section why. While on your travels, you may also find various trinkets along the beach that can also be turned into the Gold Hoarders for additional rep. In order to level up your reputation quickly with the Gold Hoarders, only do treasure map quests, specifically ones that are on small islands, preferably with at least three X's on it. If your mission doesn't have this or isn't on a small island, then cancel the mission and try again. For every five levels of reputation, you gain a promotion. As you level up through the Gold Hoarders, you'll unlock missions that have the potential to yield more gold, a variety of titles and vanity items including the gold hoarders shovel and compass as well as the sovereign item sets. There are also achievements that you can complete while sailing and leveling up your reputation that provide their own reward. Missions can also be found from a message in a bottle costing you nothing. You can tell which missions are from the captain's table versus a message in a bottle based on the icon in the lower right hand side of each circle. If it's a yellow key it's a mission, if it's a grey bottle it's from a message in a bottle. Overall their missions are a bit of potluck because you never know what type of chest you're going to get, whether it's castaway chests or a chest of sorrows or anything in between. Riddles can take some time if you don't know exactly where to go in order to unlock the next section, and treasure maps can be frustrating if you can't orient yourself well enough in order to locate the treasure. There are websites and even an app for your phone that help with some of the riddles, so if you're having trouble, be sure to check them out. However, that's all for this video. Check out my Sea of Thieves playlist for more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent share it around with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a lovely day. Till next time.